and welcome to my channel. So we're going to listen to Joe in a moment. It's a bit of a crazy call. I thought it would be a good example of a Christian who just literally uh, can't really put together more than two uh, sentences or ideas which are logically connected. He's all over the place. He's talking over the hosts, etc. Uh, he's jumping from one thing to the next. It's just unbelievable. But we'll have a listen to that in a moment. As you may know, I've got various polls going on my community tab and I'm sort of moving into moral dilemmas. I've presented one today and actually I've been told by one somebody who left a comment it's not much of a moral dilemma at all so you can make a you can make your own decision on that if you go and look at that poll effectively it's asking the question would you be, pre be prepared to sacrifice the person in this world who's closest to you emotionally the person you love the most for example in order to save 10,000 unknown people maybe on the other side of the world. And I've been told that's not a moral dilemma. Well, okay. So if you'd like to have a look at that, I'd be very, I'd be very interested. Um, and maybe if you want to leave a comment, that's fine. So let's moving on here. We've got uh, Skeptics and Scoundrels, Eric, who, well done. I thought he was brilliant. I thought he was really clear. And, you know, I really like him. I think that uh, we're going to be seeing a lot more of him. And I also look forward to looking at his channel. He's got he's not got too many videos on there, but uh, he's you know he's somebody who could be going places, and I really enjoyed his uh, input. So let's have a listen to the call. Let's go. So they can validate themselves, but they're not. They're not. But if you're just not going to believe in it, just don't believe in it. You don't have to prove it to me or anybody oh. else. You just got to prove it to yourself. Well, you you see, yeah, I'm, I'm sure that, other that would be that, Hold on, hold on, Joe. Yeah, so so yeah, he's saying Joe is saying everybody's got their own evidence. I can't prove it to you. I can prove it to myself, um, and you'll have to prove it to yourself. In other words, there's no shared truth. We've all got our own evidence. Joe, can I respond, please? Different. Yeah, respond, please. Joe, right. Joe, can yeah. I respond? Okay. Yeah. Just, For many of the beliefs, that would probably be. For many of the beliefs, that would probably be good advice. Okay. I don't care who believes in unicorns. I don't care who believes in Santa. Okay, I'm not. I'm not out here telling people not oh, to believe here. in those things. But but I mean, there's with a lot of, there's the lot God of thing, Christianity that I disagree with, with. But I'm, I'm I'm I believe there's a God, and I believe in there Jesus is, okay. is okay. the one. But so. with now he's been on 15 minutes, and he after 15 minutes of saying he believes in God, he believes in Jesus, but he hasn't presented any evidence. With the God issue, we have millions of people, especially in the United States, trying to legislate these archaic, draconian, cruel God beliefs and the legislation in that into our laws. So well, we give have an example a big what, issue what's with archaic that. About, about... Now, he asked a good question there. Um, Eric has said that we've got millions of Christians trying to legislate their beliefs into law. Eric has actually asked a good question. What are they? Give me an example of what you're talking about. Like, what's what's archaic that the politicians are trying to? Uh, what, what 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 what's bothering you? The like, the rejection the of you? women's rights and bodily autonomy. That's a big one. That that's not, that we, we, had Roe v. Wade, you know? we we had Roe v. Wade I mean, repeal just for, what a year ago. Well, this is this is what's happened with Christianity. Christians did not realize that by that by doing this, by overturning Roe v. Wade, that in these debates. Uh, atheists like me can now say you are using your religious dogma to legislate. Your motivation for changing the law is actually your own theology. And that's not right. It's sort of unconstitutional. Now, before Roe v. Wade was overturned and that question was asked, give me an example, as Joe said, give me an example. What's the problem? You didn't have Roe v. Wade. You might have had pressures to overturn it, but it hadn't been overturned. What would you have said? That maybe some uh, local legislators are pushing to have the Bible in biology classrooms, which, you know, um, I mean, that sort of seems relatively minor, and I'm not really convinced that it's it's happening. What else is there? What's that? Ro we had Roe v. Wade. Wade. I, I, like most Christians don't even yeah. don't even I don't I know I know what it is, but I don't I don't I don't want to. I don't care about most Christians. Right. I care about the ones making problems in in legislation. I don't okay. care about most yeah, Christians. I, I, I care about the I, ones I, I actively agree legislating. I agree this. with that, but I don't. Okay, I, I agree with what you're right. saying. So, like I don't agree so right that, that, that. So right there. So right there. What's that? I you, know, said, you said you agree with that. So we agree on this core. We we agree on this issue. Okay. Joe, I please let me get a word in. We both agree on this. Okay. 
I am so concerned by this, and I see the real damage and harm it causes that it motivates me to talk out against these Christian beliefs, these archaic beliefs. If Christians were to just take their beliefs and privately practice them and not force them into law, I would be fine with that. Mm. I wouldn't have to do any of this. I'm sure Matt would have regained the 20 years he just spent fighting this if we didn't have that issue. Christian beliefs, I don't, I don't think that Christians are many, are, many are benign, but, but some of them are very toxic mm -hmm. and harmful, and we're fighting against that. Okay, but I don't think that every Christian is, is, is pro-choice or, or, or anti-abortion. Anti I, I, I don't, and I don't blame that every on, Christian. On, I care about the ones I would causing problems. I, I, would, I would just say there's, there's probably plenty of uh, non-believers who, who, who are anti-abortion. You, you can't just blame that on one sure. on, one per, on, on, on sure, God. But they are, they're, bringing, they're bringing Scripture into the equation. They're bringing other arguments into the equation. What, what, I mean, I don't know what Scripture and they can bring and, into and the that, equation. That could be yeah, but the point is that, uh, unfortunately, Eric's not pointed out, unless he did point it out and I missed it, is that those atheists who are opposed to abortion um, are not in position of power and they're, they're not the ones who are pushing their agenda, whereas Christians are. A whole other fight that we could have, but I'm not, I'm not interested in doing that fight. I'm interested in doing this one. I'm only right. one person. Well, I, mean, you can't, you, I mean, you can't, you can't, you can't disbelieve in God just because of that. Right. Okay. So here's where the, there's a misunderstanding. He said, well, you can't disbelieve in God just because of that, just because of Roe Ro v. Wade. And in a way, he's kind of got a point. Well, no, he hasn't got a point because, of course, that's not why Eric disbelieves in God. Um, he's going to say in a moment it's because there's no evidence. But the reason there's this confusion is that Joe called in uh, to explain his beliefs and, you know, to point out why he thinks there is a God. He's presenting his reasons why there is a God. And Eric started this thing about the fact that Christians are pushing their agenda. Uh, Joe is confused and he thinks that he's now, he thinks that, uh, Joe's explaining his motivation for fighting online uh, counter apologetics and Joe doesn't get that. He thinks that this is a reason why he doesn't believe in God. That's where the confusion is. Because what some, some, some believe in the Bible in God because I don't see sufficient evidence for it. I don't believe in a God because I don't have sufficient evidence to warrant that belief. Okay. Well, not sufficient evidence. Let's see where Joe goes now. Simple. And, 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 I know. And, and I know you may think believe... I, I ignore it. I know. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. I know. I know. You, I, know. I know. But you, like I said, you might think that, but I, I, I also think the same about you. I don't see how you even. I think you have to be delusional to believe that this is all for this all just happened out of nothing. <laughs> okay, we got it. I don't know if you. I don't know if you heard that. Um, you'd have to be delusional to believe that all this came out of nothing. So after 20 minutes, roughly, of Joe's call. That is where his, that is actually the basis of his belief. I think he's had personal experiences, but in terms of presenting an argument, um, something can't come from nothing. You'd have to be delusional um, to believe that something could have come out of just pure chance, come out of nothing. You would almost have to do you uh, think turn I'm your brain off. Do you think I'm genuine when I say I don't see the evidence? And violate Joe, science when I, when I say by saying I, you can have all this without, 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 without it being Joe. started by something. Just, let's just put all that aside for just a oh, moment. So, let's so, put all so aside for a moment. That, you're saying the same thing that I'm Joe. saying. I'm just saying that. I'm throwing it back to you. <laughs> Joe. I'm throwing it back to you. That's all I'm doing. Joe, I'm trying to ask you a question. What? Okay. When I say I don't work. believe in a God because I don't see enough evidence for it. Ah, uh, it's a shame. It's a shame. Um, I, I mean, I don't blame Eric because the guy is barely intelligible. I've had to listen to it a couple of times to catch his points. But, you know, he's saying he, he really needs to address this. Something can't come from nothing position that he's got. Do you think I'm being genuine with that statement? No, I, I all don't. the other stuff set aside. Okay, so you think I'm either fooling myself or outward lying to you, basically? I think I think you're fooling yourself and you're trying to convince yourself. That's what I think. I think you're actually trying to convince yourself. I've had theists say this to me, Stuart. You've convinced yourself that God doesn't exist. <laughs> because most people that don't believe in God just don't give a damn. So I mean, I. <laughs> Most people that don't believe in God don't give a damn. Oh, I love it. I, when I was an atheist, I didn't go around saying I had to prove something to somebody else. And they, so, and I don't so care Joe, I think with who I, I, you act like Christians are bigots and all that stuff. But you know what? I, most I don't care. Like if I if there's if there's people that want to have sex with other men or whatever, it doesn't. Like I'm not one of those people like oh you know like like, like they make, they make Christians right. out to be all these bigotry people I'm not like we're that. throwing a lot I of don't stuff think that that's right we're throwing a lot of stuff so, on like, the table here let's that, focus a little bit you, here okay. You Let's focus a little bit on Joe. Joe. What's that? Joe, come on. We're, we're having a conversation here, back and forth. Okay. Uh, I, I, Joe. Okay, go ahead. 
back and forth okay you're so, getting right, really close to me having to jump in joe let eric talk be honest in answering <laughs> questions or i'm going to shut you up all right first of all joe you are fooling yourself if you can think you can look at somebody else and know what they're thinking better than they do you are seriously fooling yourself if if i I'm came not, up I'm to you and you told I'm me that you like that. chocolate ice cream and i told you no I, you like vanilla ice cream i know it because it's silly to like chocolate I'm ice not, cream I'm not doing that. Me. I've seen you guys do it on your show. Uh, That's exactly what you, you guys do. You are doing that, Joe. Uh, so you I, are I know, doing that when you... you shut the fuck up. I'm muting you. What Eric's trying to tell you very politely is that that's exactly what you do when you tell us that we aren't sincere in our disbelief. When you pretend that you know our mind better than you than we do. It's you projecting because you were a shitty atheist for shitty reasons, and you assume that the other atheists who are out here are in the same boat, but we're not. We're actually involved in conversations and arguments where we want someone to present evidence. And when you asked Eric for what he's objecting to, he told you at least one example, and then you, instead of arguing and staying on that point, tried to jump to a different point to raise a different point and turn it back and do, well, this is what you guys do. And this way, are either of us doing any of that right now? I think we're just trying to have a conversation with you. Do you want to have that conversation or do you want to be done? I, I'm, I'm willing to have a conversation, but all I was and grow the fuck saying, up it back, and, it's talk and stay it's on topic or you're I will nuke you. You're it back and forth. All right. <laughs> Continue. <laughs> I can't believe that Matt is allowing this to go on. I mean, are they, um, are, don't they have many callers this week? <laughs> okay. So Joe, Hello. let's, 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 let's shelf that for right now. You said, okay, let's, let's shelf that I'm for sorry right that, now. That, Joe, no, 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 you, stop. stop. <laughs> I'm going to do this one more time. Joe, I'm sorry that you are a terrified, scared little person who is absolutely petrified at the notion that there are people out there who know more than you or who might have a better understanding of something than you or who might sincerely uh, disbelieve the things you believe, which is why you just sit there and mock it. You are becoming a cartoon. I don't think you know the first thing about Christianity when you start talking about what Christians do and don't support. I don't think you know the Bible better than either one of us sitting here. I don't think you understand Christianity better than either of us here. We're sitting here trying to actually have a conversation with you, and you sound like you're about to break down. You sound like you're about to cry. You got a nervous laughter. You got to mock us for this. All Eric is doing is asking you questions. Now, you're either going to engage respectfully with him, or I will move on to another caller, because I think it's disrespectful to the other callers to let you continue to sit here and keep occupying time when you provide nothing but name-calling and assertions. So let's try this again. Welcome back hey, to the Colin. show, Joe. You're on with Eric. Yeah, hey, Eric. Where were we? Hi, Joe. Before I got Give me, give me, so, okay, I'm, I'm going to take you for your word and that you were an atheist at one point in your life and that you're not anymore. You're now a theist and you believe that there is a God and you believe that we are irrational in our rejection of that. Okay. Just give me your best piece of evidence that you can point to for the existence of your God, whether that be the Christian God I, or a I theist just, God in general, give me something. I just did everything around us. Okay. That's, that's Yeah. Well, well, yeah. Okay. You know, as I say, I don't think it's Eric's fault that he missed that. But five, six minutes ago, yep, something can't come from nothing. He's already put forward his his argument. Proof enough. What what else do you want? You can't disprove everything life. around us. You can't. You can't. Everything around us. Everything. I'm everything, not disproving everything life. Around us. I'll take. I'll take you back to um. What is that Romans one where it says, uh, "There's no excuse for man to not believe because of the things around us." Right. I don't remember that exact scripture. But there's just, I mean, you can't, right. you can't, you can't deny that. And if you do, if you do deny it, then you're just denying the truth. Because all you're doing is you're, okay. you, if you can't Joe, explain it Joe, away. Let's say hypothetically, wait, 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 let's, let's say hypothetically. If you can't explain it away, no, let, 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 let me just say, if you can't explain it away, then you can't kick God out, on, out, out of the world. You just can't do it. And you never will do it. Well, I think we've got scientific explanations, which may not be complete. And of course they are not complete, but um, they're kind of getting there. Sir. All right. No, no, sir. No, no, you won't. No, sir. 
you, you Here, understand, you you understand Joe, what the most speaker. general? Yeah. Joe, do you understand what the most general definition of atheism is or atheist? Okay. So, uh, of course, argument from ignorance, God of the gaps and all that. Um, and even if we haven't got explanations, it doesn't justify belief in God. But it sounds to me like he knows absolutely nothing at all about uh, physics, Big Bang cosmology, even, you know, even in rudimentary terms, theory of evolution, a biogenesis. So I thought uh, I thought that was worth playing to you. Now, oddly enough, there's another call. I think uh, I think Wade, somebody very similar calls in another sort of scatterbrain uh, who's talking over the host all the time. Anyway, I thought that Eric was uh, pretty good there. He's very well composed. And I just think that, I mean, for him to come in on his first show and have to face somebody like Eric, who's barely intelligible, and he, he did miss some of his points, I had to... I had to listen a couple of times to pick up what he was saying, so I don't blame him for that. But I think that Eric's got a good future ahead of him on uh, on YouTube. I'll be back again with another video. Let me know what you think of, of this video. I'd be really interested in your comments. Bye for now.